Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have another foundation to test out for you guys today and this is actually a foundation that I haven't seen anybody else talk about. I haven't seen any reviews on it. I haven't seen anything. I hardly know anything about it either. Um, I know what online says so that's what I'll kind of give you guys a rundown of but with me today I have the All May Best Blend Forever Foundation. And this stuff has an SPF of 40. I think that there are 12 shades in the um, shade range. And I have the shade 140 beige. So hopefully this will match me today. You guys know me and matching foundations. Hardly ever happens. But um, I'm trying to think of some other things that I read about this. You, It's got this weird sponge tip applicator that you are supposed to be able to use this to buff into your skin. Or you can take this off and just use it like by itself, applying the makeup. Um, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this sponge and I'll end up using my um, beauty sponge or a brush, but we'll try it all the different ways to see which way it works the best for this foundation. It did not say anywhere on the website if this was a full coverage, medium coverage, sheer coverage. All it said was that it easily applies and easily covers. So in my mind, I'm kind of leaning more towards it's a full coverage foundation if it easily applies or it easily covers. Um, but yeah, in case if any of you haven't been on my channel before, this is what my skin looks like. Pretty gnarly. So hopefully we will be able to cover all of this up today with this foundation. I am pretty excited to try out this foundation, so let's go ahead and get started. One quick thing about this foundation before we begin, it is supposed to be, it does claim to be a moisturizing, hydrating foundation. So if you have oily skin, I would take caution before trying this. I personally have always had oily skin. Here lately with the weather changing and it becoming winter, my skin has dried out significantly, like more than it ever has before. Um, during winter. So hopefully this foundation will work for me today and hopefully I don't get too oily but that is a forewarning. I might get super oily throughout the day and if I do that's probably why. For primer today I am going to use this Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer and I think everybody knows about this stuff. It's kind of a classic that a lot of people love. Um, this is actually a sample size. I honestly don't remember where I got this primer at. It was probably... Actually, no, yes I do. I got this primer when I ordered the Too Faced Clover palette off of their website and then I got a sample with it. So that's where that's from. So I'm just applying a little bit of this, if it will come out. I'm applying a little bit of this to my cheeks where my pores are. My pores are mainly right here. And I will apply some to my forehead because I get pretty oily on my forehead. And this primer, it's kind of weird. Um, I think this is also a moisturizing primer, but it keeps me pretty matte throughout the day. I think it moisturizes just enough that my skin doesn't feel like it has to overproduce oil. And so it keeps me relatively not oily throughout the day, which I appreciate. I'm also gonna put some on my nose a little bit. One thing that I really, really like about this primer is it makes my skin feel tacky. I love that feeling in a primer. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. So I don't even know how this product is like gonna pump out of here. Um, we're gonna find out together. This is what the applicator looks like. Really strange. Um, I've never seen a foundation look like this, so could be amazing, could be terrible. Let's see if there's some directions on here telling me how to get the product out. I you probably just squeeze it, but so I don't see anything on the back of this on how to use it. So there are no instructions on this foundation. So I'm going to assume that we're just going to squeeze it and some's going to come out. And then you are supposed to use this pink applicator sponge to buff it in, I guess. So which already off the bat, that's kind of gross. Um, I don't know if I'd want to like reuse this a bunch. And you are also supposed to be able to take this off and use it by itself. Okay, I'm scared I'm going to break it. I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's see if what comes out if we squeeze it. Okay, yep. So that is what just came out. Looks like might be, dang, that's light and super pink. 
why is a beige why is a beige product pink that defeats the entire purpose so I'm gonna squirt some of this onto my face I guess right out of here and try to buff it into my skin with this sponge and if I don't like it I'm just gonna switch over to my beauty sponge or a brush so let me get my mirror ready okay I've scooted you guys in a little bit closer it could be a bad thing it's kind of hard to see how much you're squeezing out okay so I've got that much on let's see how much that can cover It doesn't really smell like much yet. Okay, so from that one little bit, it just kind of sheared out. It took a little bit of the redness away. Let's apply some more. Okay, I applied that much more. Why is there no color on my face? So that is what the sponge looks like. I think it's just soaking up back into the sponge. Okay, so to solve that problem, I'm going to use a beauty sponge with this, this next application. So this is where it was on my hand and it's just kind of clear. Hmm, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, I applied a little bit more that time. I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge, like always. Okay, that's doing so much better. Okay, that sponge is just a joke, you guys. Don't use that. It doesn't really smell. There is a smell to it, but it's not like fragrancy. It doesn't really smell like anything, but I think it also said that it was hypoallergenic. So that's good for those of you who are allergic to scents and don't like fragrances in your makeup. Okay, so I've got that much blended in and I definitely still see some redness. I still see some bumps. But I'm not even like counting those first two applications as one because like it literally, it just soaked right into this sponge. That sponge is a joke. I'm gonna try to take it off. It's kind of weird that they tell you that you can take it off and use it by itself because now like you can't get it out without getting stuff. You cannot take that out. What is happening? Oh. So they mean that you can take this whole piece off and then apply it like this. So that is what I'm going to do because I don't like the applicator. So we're going to move on to this side. You can definitely see a difference in this side and this side though. Like that covers quite a bit of redness and that was, I'm considering that one application because none of the other product went on there at all. It just smeared away. So that was one application. Moving on to the other side try to get you guys close for this side this is the good side to watch get covered up right I got this cartilage piercing like four months ago and it won't heal now I can't get it out of my ear and it hurts so bad I'm gonna have to go and get them to take it out because I literally can't get it out okay I definitely have more redness on this side than this side. Um, it is trying to cover it up. That wasn't too impressive, but I will apply another layer on each side and we will see if we can build up this coverage. But right now it's, it's more of a sheer to medium coverage, I think in my opinion. Hoping to build it up to a full without getting too, too cakey.
Okay, so I'm done with the second coat on each side and I don't know, I still don't have the coverage I want on this side. Um, I don't know if I should add another um, layer or if I should just leave it how it is. I'll go ahead and do my forehead. I do feel like I'm using a lot of product too. I put foundation on my eyelids too because I have a lot of little veins on there and I like to cover them all up. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little bit more like right here and right here. Try to cover up those spots and I think I'm going to leave this side alone. I think it looks okay to go out in public with. Um, let's see. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, Diana. I don't like this. I feel like, why am I so red right here? I feel like I've applied a lot of foundation and I'm scared I'm gonna get super, super cakey. Um, actually, I'm not even gonna do that because I'm gonna put concealer on. So, that's what we're working with today. I feel like this would be really beautiful like when you first apply it on someone that doesn't have any acne or any texture. Um, pore wise, my pores, you can't really see them, so that is a good thing. Um, I'm not really creasing or anything yet. I haven't really moved around yet though. It's weird, this foundation doesn't really, I mean it's got color to it, but I don't know. It was weird when I was putting it on. I was just like wondering where the coverage was, or not the coverage, but like where the color was. Because when I self tan, like I don't tan my face, so my body is always gonna be darker than my face. And like it's still, when I buy a beige foundation, I'm always scared that it's gonna be too dark because a lot of times beige, like it's dark for me. Um, and this just wasn't. Like this is, it kind of looked really, I don't know if you guys can tell, it just looks really pink on the back of my hand where I put it before. So, I don't know, and it's not really oxidizing, it's just, looks a weird color. I don't know. So this might be a bust, but I'm definitely gonna finish up my makeup and take you guys throughout my day to see what this is looking like, which could be a bad idea because I am going out today. It might be a bad foundation today, but we will just find out. So I'm going to put the top back on this. I definitely did not like this little sponge. It soaked up every single ounce of product that I put on my face when I tried to buff it out. So that was a no-go. I don't know who... I don't know why they didn't put like this type of foam in there instead of... it's. This is a hard foam. It... I don't even know how to explain it, but it's not soft like a beauty blender. But I feel like if they had put like a beauty blender type of material in there, it would have worked better. You could have used it as a beauty blender. I liked where they were going with that. That could have been really, really awesome, but that didn't work. So um, moving on, I am going to apply some concealer. I guess I'll do that on camera. I've got it right here in front of me. Um, I've got... I've got two concealers with me today. I've got Urban Decay All Nighter and I've got Tarte Shape Tape. Which one do I want to use? They're both really, really light. Um, I'm gonna go with Urban Decay because I'm still testing that out to see if I like it. I did a review of this concealer a couple days ago and posted it, so if you wanna go watch that, please go watch it. But I'm still testing it out because I loved it in that video. I really loved it. But then I was watching other videos and people were like, no, this stuff is terrible. Like, I still like it, so I'm still testing it out. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it, except for the price and how much you get in there. But I mentioned all of that in that video, so if you want to see it, go watch it. I feel like I doesn't look good now. Um, it's not the concealer that doesn't look good. I feel like it, I don't know. 
I might just be in my head. Let me do the other eye. One thing about this concealer is you have to do one portion of your face at a time because it does dry really quickly and it's hard to blend when you are trying to do more than one area at once. It's kind of reacting weirdly with the foundation. It's kind of like pulling it away. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell on camera, but when I'm trying to like blend the concealer in, it's kind of wiping away the foundation, which you don't really want when you're applying concealer. You want just the extra coverage where you're trying to place it, but I don't know. I don't know what that means. Alrighty, I have applied concealer, and the more time that I let this foundation sit on my skin, the better it's looking, I feel like. That might be all in my head. Uh, the real test will be when I go upstairs and kind of look in the natural lighting to see. But, like, the more, the longer I leave it on, the better it's looking to me. Which is kind of weird. I feel like it's getting more pink, though. I don't, it's not even picking that up on camera, but... I don't know why this foundation is so pink. Definitely um, light for me. You can <laughs> see the difference. I'm gonna bronze and try to fix that issue, but definitely a little light. Um, I am kind of creasing right here on my smile lines, but that kind of always happens, so I don't, I'm not really judging the foundation by that. But yeah, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back. I am done with the rest of my makeup and I don't know, it was kind of a challenge to put a couple of things on. When I was putting the bronzer on my forehead, I kind of felt like I was almost like halfway rubbing off the foundation. Also, what was really weird, when I was applying my eyebrow pomade, I used the um, I used the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade and as I was using it with my brush, like I felt like it just lo wasn't looking right uh, when I was um, trying to put it on my inner corner of my eyebrow, like, where the foundation was. It was just kind of, like, I don't just, like, wiping it away. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. But, I mean, I'm not happy with the coverage on this side at all. Definitely not a full coverage foundation, which they never really claimed to be. They just said that it easily covers. So, I, I don't really know what that means. This side, uh, still not happy. I'm still definitely not full coverage today. Um... I really, really like this lip product. I got this yesterday at Walmart. It is the Maybelline um, Superstate Matte Ink in the shade Loyalist. Um, it smells really weird, but I love, love, love the color. Um, but my lips have been so dry lately, it's probably not going to work out today. But for now, right now, I just applied it. It looks really good. Love the color. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to say about this foundation. Definitely not full coverage. I hated the sponge applicator that you're supposed to use with it. That thing is terrible. It wipes away all the product and just soaks it all up. Total waste of foundation. Um, the color is kind of weird. I like beige is supposed to be darker than this and it's pretty light. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can say about this. I think that's pretty much all I have to say as of right now. I will be checking in in a couple of hours to show you guys what this foundation looks like, how it's wearing, if it's wearing off, or if I'm super oily. See if it's doing anything strange. Um, right now when I touch my face, like it comes off a little bit. So, And another thing, if you guys don't know, my with my foundation reviews, I do not like to set my face. I don't like to use a powder when I do that, when I do reviews, because I want to see how well the foundation wears throughout the day without adding, like, things that are going to help it. Like, I want to see how good this foundation is by itself, because I know a lot of people, they buy the foundation, and they can't afford other powders to go over top of it. I feel like foundations should be perfectly fine by themselves, and you shouldn't have to use a powder with them. So, we'll see... Um, uh, as of right now, I'm not too impressed. You guys see my face right now. Definitely didn't get good coverage out of this. Um, my forehead, it's creasing a little bit, but it always does that, so, you know. Another thing that I think I'm going to start doing, um, if a foundation claims to be full coverage, I am going to try to use my boyfriend's arm or something to 
kind of test it out because he has a lot of tattoos and I would like to see if a foundation could cover tattoos. So if you guys want to want me to add that into my videos from now on, let me know and I'll ask. I guess I better ask his permission first. That might be nice of me to do. This one, I'm definitely not going to worry about doing that with this one because we see it's not full coverage. But um, I will be checking in with you guys in a couple of hours to show you guys how this foundation is wearing. So I will see you guys soon. This foundation has been on for about four hours and I had the weirdest thing happen and I am totally blaming it on this foundation. I looked in the mirror and I had mascara all underneath both of my eyes and that has never happened with this mascara before. And so I think it's just hitting this really wet foundation and just like smearing off. And it was the weirdest thing. I wiped it off because it was all over my face. Um, but I don't know how I feel like that about this foundation. I'm not happy with the coverage at all. You can still see all of my marks, all of my acne marks. Um, it just doesn't look very good. We were sitting at lunch and I asked Chevy how it looked and he said that it doesn't look as good as my other ones. So even he does, he, even he doesn't think that it's very good, but I mean, I don't know. I don't really like it. It's too watery for me. I think it's too hydrating. Um, it just rubs off and it feels really just slimy and sticky on your skin. But I will be checking in with you guys in a couple of more hours. We are going on about hour six now of having this foundation on and I have kind of a love-hate relationship. I feel like I look really, really good from like straight on, but then when you see like how much it didn't really cover, it, it kind of, I don't know. Like I wish that it had a little bit more coverage um, because it looks beautiful from straight on when I'm just looking at you guys and I see myself in my camera like I look really really good but then you see all the texture all the acne when I turn and it's just not cute um, I haven't really creased anywhere abnormal I have my normal creasing right here my smile lines that always happens though um, I have not creased on my eyelids where I put it um, I'm trying to think of what else to tell you guys I do look maybe a little bit oily on my forehead but nothing nothing major at all I definitely would not try this foundation if you are very oily usually um, I feel like the people with really dry skin that don't have really a lot to cover I feel like you guys would really love this foundation um, I would definitely check out these shades though I would definitely go into a store and look at those because this foundation was I got the shade beige and it's way too light for me and oh I know what I wanted to do I wanted to go see how much I paid for this so I just looked up the price of this on Ulta.com and apparently I paid $16.99 for it. And at Target it is $12.99. So oof, oopsie. Um, this is not a $17 foundation in my mind. That's ridiculous for this. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know. I thought that, like the packaging looked really cool. I thought that the sponge would be maybe a good idea. Um, but I don't think I'd really recommend this unless you have like pretty dry skin and you don't have anything you really want to cover Which I think most people have stuff they want to cover um, But if you just have perfect skin and you want something to just put over top of your skin This does has have an SPF of 40. So if you're looking for something like that, I guess this foundation would be good for you, but Overall this foundation it's a bust for me. I think it's I give it a thumbs down um, it's really pretty from far away, but then you get close. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I don't know. Um, I guess it's all depending on what you're looking for in a foundation. And if you want just a sheer, this is more like a BB cream or something to me. If you just want more of a sheer look, this would be perfect for you. Um, but yeah, I think that I don't think I'm going to be doing any more check-ins for the day. I think that pretty much sums up how I feel about this foundation. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video.